Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes, and we're going to talk about the Green Party, because in a stunning acknowledgement of failure, the entire leadership of the Green Party resigned en masse last night. They've admitted that they've got it wrong on climate change and pushing the hysteria. They've admitted that their views on mass immigration are loathed and hated by the electorate and that they must pull away from being so political on areas outside of ecology. They want to concentrate on that. And so the whole of the leadership have come down. They say they're going to have fresh elections, have a new change of leadership and concentrate more on matters more at the core of their party rather than on the periphery. Um, and they say that, uh, yes, they, they've admitted they've got it wrong uh, on their approach to immigration and on their approach to the way they present climate change. Unfortunately, we're talking about the German Greens here. Our lot would never admit such a thing. But it is a start. And you have these weird people who run this party basically getting mashed at the last election. They had elections at the beginning of the week. Uh, and the results are terrible for them. The people of Europe are rejecting these mad Marxist extremist Greens with their dangerous policies. They want to encourage mass immigration into countries that can't afford it. And we know that the people coming offer nothing and yet we'll take, take, take. And yet if you want to save the planet, you need money. You cannot weaken your economies in order to save the planet because poverty makes things worse. They've finally admitted that it is the wrong approach. They've finally admitted that they were using wrong and knowingly using wrong information and wrong data to present the climate arguments. And they've just sort of gone, OK, we give up. The the, the, re the results from the last elections were so bad that they, they got hardly anyone through into the federal government, like literally about two or three in the whole country. They, they themselves have admitted the gigs up. They don't know what to do. And so they resigned. Our lot, on the other hand, would have doubled down on all the bullshit, would have doubled down on the wrong numbers. They do double down. They get told that this is the wrong numbers and they still push it. Remember Scotland being the most windiest place in the universe kind of bullshit, which was then proven to be a lie. But the Greens still pushed it. The SNP still pushed it. Can you imagine Geoffrey and the Imp standing down because they told lies? Not a chance. They'd be proud of it. They still tell lies. Can you imagine Geoffrey and the Imp standing down because... Their views on immigration were at odds with everybody else's. No, they'd insist that 99.9% .9 of the Scottish people are wrong and only they are right. But that's the way it's going. Germany is now going anti-immigration. Germany is now going anti-green. They've had rolling blackouts in Germany and Germany's going, hang on a minute, we used to have nuclear power stations for this very problem. Let's start them up again. Only they can't because they closed them all. Deary me, you can't run a modern economy on unicorn farts, as the Germans are starting to find out. And so they're rejecting their greens. And we need the people in this country to do the same with our greens. See them for what they are. Tofu-eating, sandal, sock and sandal-wearing weirdos. Tree-huggers who've got more in common with, you know, uh, the Green Brigade, the, the weirdos, than they have with real people and politicians. Stop giving them support. They're nutters who will have us all living like Stone Age people before too long. Eat your bug burgers and don't turn the heating on. Madness. Anyway, well done, the German Greens. Now we've just got to get all the other ones to do the same. Thanks very much. Bye.